colleague of mine was asking whether it was possible to do a calculation inside an advanced action in Adobe Captivate. Here's uh, one way you can do a calculation inside advanced actions through something called an expression. Let me show you how it might work. So I have this sample project here where I'm teaching bartenders that they need to check for ID to know when someone is 21 years of age. Uh, in this case here, we want to provide them a dynamic example of the advanced action calculating what someone's birthday would be if they were turning 21 today or the day that this user is looking at this e-learning project. So there's a couple things that you need to do. First thing we need, we need, of course, uh, a variable to keep track of that particular date. So we're going to add a new variable. We're going to call this V underscore 21 years ago. We'll give it an initial value of zero, although it probably doesn't matter. And we'll close that and we'll start to build our advanced action. Now this advanced action will run on enter of this particular slide. So we'll select execute advanced action from the slide actions tab. And we're going to create that new advanced action by clicking on the script folder icon. We'll call this calculate birthday. So now we're going to use the expression action, which will be expression. And we're going to start off by using our system variable that we created V underscore 21 years ago is equal to and we're going to use a system variable CP info current year minus the literal value 21. So we're going to take the current year and subtract 21 years from that. And that's it. But you can see, of course, how you could use this to do all sorts of mathematical items such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We'll save this as an action. We'll close this. And now we're just going to put some system and user variables within our caption. So I'm going to enter this caption here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the insert variable icon from the properties inspector. And we'll select a system variable. And we're looking for CP info current month. Uh, the maximum length of 50 is fine. It doesn't even need to be that long. And we'll put just a slash there. We'll also add insert variable. In this case, will be a system variable as well. CP info current date. And this time we'll use our user variable v21 years ago and we'll click on OK. So all that information is in there. Probably won't need this to be as large because of course even though this is three lines of text it won't be once we actually run it. So I'm just going to shrink that down just a little bit here and I think we're good to go. So let's do a preview of this project and see what it looks like. So there you can see the dynamic date showing up. As you can see, the caption reads, checking for ID is something you will have to do every day as a bartender. At the start of your shift, you should know the exact birthday of someone who is 21 years of age. For example, someone turning 21 today would have the following birthday. And of course, tomorrow will be one day later, and so on. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.